The NBA crew is one of the most feared rap groups in Baton Rouge. But all the work they put in on the streets is coming back to haunt them now that the feds are cracking down and their officers taking advantage of their weakness. Not only is their leader behind bars facing a firearms charge, but they are also facing the threat of a possible RICO case. One of the most respected rappers, NBA Ben 10, was just recently released from jail and another affiliate named NBA Big B was allegedly shot in Baton Rouge. Let's take a closer look at what's going on with the Never Broke Again crew. NBA was created after Youngboy split from TBG and started beefing with rappers affiliated with the gang like G Money and Fredo Bang. He recruited some of his close homies and affiliates he could trust to help him run the streets while also going for the music industry. For a while, it seemed like NBA was unstoppable and helped Youngboy claim his position at the top of the rap game. But now, after struggling over constant legal problems and street beef, the crew was starting to fall apart. Things got serious after Youngboy was arrested on a federal firearm charge earlier this year. The rapper was originally arrested back in September 2020 when police were called to an abandoned trap house in Baton Rouge after neighbors complained about a group of men hanging out around the area with guns. They were all filming a music video, but many of the guns they had were real. When police showed up, many of the men fled the scene, but Youngboy ended up getting caught. Being a convicted felon, he was not supposed to be around guns or other felons, so he was hit with a bunch of different charges, including distribution and manufacturing of drugs and possession of stolen firearms. He was originally released on bail, but in February 2020, the FBI announced that they were opening an investigation into the entire NBA crew and had a warrant for Youngboy's arrest over the gun charges. On March 22nd, 2020, police attempted to pull over his vehicle in LA, but he ended up taking off. He eventually got out of the car and escaped on foot, leading the feds to bring out the K-9 unit to track him. He was eventually found and brought to jail, where he's remained ever since, fighting the case. Although nothing has officially been announced, it seems likely that the feds are trying to build a RICO case against the entire NBA crew. Police have used this tactic to crack down on other rap groups, including GS9 in Treyway in Brooklyn, or AFNF and 438 in Orlando. First, they go after the biggest rapper and try to paint them as the ringleader of the operation. Then, they lean on all the various affiliates to make it seem like any crime they committed on their own was an organized conspiracy meant to benefit the gang. Now the police are cracking down on NBA Youngboy's right-hand man, Ben 10, who was recently arrested on multiple gun and drug charges, but later released. NBA Ben 10 grew up with Youngboy in Baton Rouge. He's a cousin of Youngboy's half-brother, OG33, and he met Youngboy when they were all just kids. He was one of the first members Youngboy and OG33 recruited after they started the group, and ever since, he's been one of the gang's most important members. Despite only being in his early 20s, NBA Ben 10 has a long criminal record, just like his homie Youngboy. He and Youngboy were both arrested for attempted murder back in 2016 when they allegedly slid on their ops after Youngboy's cousin Boozilla was murdered. On November 2nd, 2016, police were called to the 200 block of Kentucky Street in Baton Rouge after four suspects had allegedly driven by home and fired shots at two victims standing on the front lawn. After a brief investigation, they later found the vehicle used in the shooting with a man suffering from a gunshot wound to the shoulder still inside the car. The man who got shot was later identified as an NBA affiliate named NBA Joe. Police later arrested three other men and charged them with attempted murder, including NBA Youngboy, Ben 10, and self-paid. Youngboy eventually pled guilty to aggravated assault with a firearm for his involvement in the shooting. But he was able to get away with a 10-year suspended sentence, meaning he was allowed to walk free after spending several months in jail fighting the case. Check out our previous video on rappers who beat a murder charge for more info on this case. Ben 10 was eventually arrested for his involvement in the shooting as well and was charged with principal to attempted first degree murder. One of the conditions for Youngboy's release was that he and Ben 10 were not allowed to be around each other as convicted felons. But that eventually ended in December 2019 when Youngboy's probation ended. But not long after being reunited with his childhood homie, Ben 10 would get sent right back to jail for gun and drug charges and would spend the next year fighting the case. He was released in September 2021 and was only out of jail for six days before he was sent right back. According to court documents, he was caught with a gun and possession of a Schedule 1 drug. He bonded out shortly after getting arrested, but he's now fighting several open cases. According to the streets, Ben 10 was caught with some weed in the gun. Because he's a convicted felon who's likely still on probation, he isn't allowed to have either of those things. But being a well-known figure in a wild city like Baton Rouge, it's easy to understand why he felt like he needed protection, especially because he's associated with a group that's known to be for a lot of people in Baton Rouge. It seems like the police are keeping a close eye on all the NBA affiliates and anyone caught slipping is gonna catch a charge. Ben 10 probably thought he could go back to his old ways and move the way he used to move before all the fame and drama. But now there's way more pressure being put on NBA from both the ops and the police. So he can't be moving like a regular person, especially if he's still on probation. Ben 10 might wanna consider getting out of Baton Rouge if it's allowed by his PO. It seems like no matter what he does, he's gonna face problems. If he catches another firearm charge, it's right back to jail with young boy. But if he doesn't stay strapped, he might get caught by the ops. So it's a lose-lose situation and he may have to either leave the state or hire full-time security. It's also worth mentioning that Ben 10 is the brother of NBA Pap, 
the alleged killer of Youngboy's main rival, G Money. G Money was another popular rapper from Baton Rouge associated with a gang in the area called TBG. At first, G Money and Youngboy were cool with each other, but after Youngboy split off from TBG to form NBA, they started beefing. G Money was killed in 2017, and many believe that Youngboy was behind the hit. G Money had recently released a diss track aimed at Youngboy called Industry. Less than two weeks later, the rapper was killed after leaving a recording studio in Baton Rouge. His death was the spark that lit the fuse between NBA and TBG, and they've been going at each other's necks ever since. NBA Lil Pap was later arrested for G Money's murder and is currently fighting the case. Since Ben 10 is Lil Pap's blood brother, that makes him even more of a target for ops from TBG looking to seek revenge. Plus, since Ben 10 has been locked up, NBA has gotten involved in an entirely new beef after King Von was murdered by Quando Rondo's friend, Lil Tim. Quando Rondo has signed a Youngboy's label, and therefore, he's affiliated with NBA. Plus, the beef between Quando Rondo and Von allegedly started because Von dissed Youngboy and was seen hanging out with his baby mama. So, even though no one from NBA directly did anything to Von, they now have beef with O Block and half the rap game just by association. Another NBA affiliate had to learn that lesson the hard way and was allegedly shot for trolling King Von after he passed away. NBA Big B, also known as NBA Self Paid, is another one of the core members of the NBA crew. He was part of the group that went and slid on the ops after Buzilla was killed, along with Youngboy and Ben 10, and was accused of being one of the shooters. He would also be arrested for the shooting after the police pulled him over at a traffic stop and found a stolen gun on him. So, he was charged with two counts of attempted murder and possession of a stolen handgun. He was arrested just two days after NBA Pap was linked to the murder of G Money, proving the police were targeting the entire NBA camp. Big B has always been one of the more vocal members of NBA on social media, and he was the main person from their camp, trolling O Block after King Von passed away. Right after it was announced that Von had been killed, Big B posted a video on social media where he said, Joke's on you. You dissed, and now you getting ran down. He also put a bunch of laughing emojis and seemed to be pretty happy in the video. The joke's on you, you dissed, now you getting wrapped down. Yeah. Uh. O Block and those close to Von obviously weren't happy about the disrespect, and his comments triggered a back and forth on social media. This led to 600 Breezy, a rapper from Team 600, a set of the BDs allied with O Block, to declare on Youngboy and anyone associated with NBA. Then, in late November 2020, a rumor started going around that NBA Big B had been shot in Baton Rouge because of his disrespect of King Von. Some sources cited a news article about a shooting that occurred outside of a gas station on Airline Highway in Baton Rouge. According to this article, Two men were shot elsewhere and ended up at the gas station sometime after where police were called. One of the men died and another man was brought to the hospital. So many assume that Big B was the one brought to the hospital and the man who passed away was his attacker who went at him over his comments about Vaughn. But not all the details are entirely clear. None of the news articles on the shooting mention either victim by name so it's tough to know if the story is accurate. Some sources were also reporting that the shooting was a result of a home invasion and had nothing to do with King Vaughn. After the shooting, Big B stayed off of social media for a while, as did the rest of the NBA camp, so no one close to him ever confirmed or denied the rumor. But just recently, he made a post on Instagram that showed him using a walker with the caption, Ain't no excuses when I see the b Feel sorry for his mama, not for me. Hashtag Freedom Gunners. This seems to confirm the rumor that he was shot in the leg by someone he was beefing with, but it's still not clear if the shooting had to do with Vaughn or not. Even though Big B isn't backing down from the smoke, things aren't looking great for the NBA team at the moment. It seems like the feds are just waiting to gather enough evidence to bring down the whole crew. But with their main artists behind bars, the rest of the group has had to return to the streets to survive, which only provides the police with more evidence to potentially take them down. The best thing they can all do is to lay low and save money for lawyer fees. But at this point, they have so much active beef with not only the people in their own city, but now all across the country because of Vaughn. So it might just be tough for them to lay low and avoid the drama, even though a RICO case could be coming at any moment. Stay tuned for updates in the case against Youngboy and the NBA crew as a whole.